designed a coronation as well? Yeah, well, I did a, the investiture of the Prince of Wales uh, when he was made Prince of Wales in Carnarvon Castle. And how was that different than a piece of Shakespeare? It wasn't so much Shakespeare, but the same problems. You know, how many people? Actors, fittings, directors. No, no fittings. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no I just, I just, just did the pavilion under which he was um, um, made Prince of Wales. But again, there was a, the 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 equivalent of the stage management, the Admiralty in London, <laughs> was um, we don't know how many people are in the cast. <laughs> so the day is of the the. the the, the dais where he, he was main Prince of Wales, there was the, um, the seat for the, Her Majesty there, and the, the, the important part was the length of time for him to walk up, kneel down, and have the sword. And all that was that was crucial. You were given a timing that determined no, how far. I had far to work that out. I had to work that out. There was a, there were pe people. There were lots of people to advise. Lots of people. The prince would like to do this, he would not like to do this, he wants to be seen this way, not no, seen this way. No, they all have to be told. It's a bit like bureaucracy now. Right. There are a great many people who have to be told, and a great many people who get very cross if they're not told. But um, in the end, there's one marvellous old boy who looked like C. Aubrey Smith. You know that old yeah. English actor from American movies, great craggy nose and sort of English with a busy eyebrows one. In the end, he was he was the one that um, knew how to theatre background. It was Armstrong Jones who asked him to do it because he designed the crown for Prince Charles, and um, uh, it was this old boy in the, one of the admirals who was intrigued with. He knew about Stratford and. Uh, was intrigued with the with mechanics of moving people because the model they made for the uh, for the for the event was half inch of the foot and it was it filled a, a, an enormous room. So they pre-planned the entire everything. Everything. You call it a coronation or an, it was investiture. An investiture of, yeah. of Prince Charles as the prince yeah. Prince of Wales. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so it stayed like a theatrical event yeah. Yeah. with choreography, very timing, much stage so. management, and television very much considered as to the canopy had to be sort of open as well so cameras could get in. So and who approved your designs? Um, it was the Admiralty. And, um, and why um, is the Admiralty, the British Navy, well, the boss, approving the designs oh, for the investiture that, of the I Prince of Wales? I tell you. That's in the halls of power. I don't know. But it was great fun. So the Admiralty in Britain must have a fair theatrical instinct. If well, look at the coronation. We do, we do it the best. So why do the British do these kind of ceremonies the we best? They showing, do. We love showing off, I think. So is the coronation just showing off? Oh, no, no, off? no. no. It's, it's an event. No, it's, it's a, I think it's, a, it's, um, it's like going to the theatre. It's, it's, uh, it's, it I mean, I make light of it. We all make fun of it. But if you see the horse guards parade, the horse guards on horseback come through Hyde Park on a sunny morning. Let me tell you, if you're there, it's not like it in films. It doesn't count you, but see these guys, these bloody great horses, and 30 guys, the breastplates, plumes, and the noise of those horses. And it's, it's pageantry, it's, it's part fairy tale time, I guess. <laughs>